whenever you do a, a series of 20 tests, if there's a little bit of error in there, you're going to find a false positive that could lead to more testing and more overtreatment. I think the tests will actually become cheaper and easier and more prolific over the, the years that come. Uh, so the key thing for us to do, probably, is to learn how to put all that data in context. Because whenever you do a, a series of 20 tests, if there's a little bit of error in there, you're going to find a false positive that could lead to more testing and more overtreatment. Uh, so I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, of that. I, I think that, for instance, kids have cholesterol problems. Uh, it's one of the areas there's a lot of controversy about testing a lot. I don't want to see that as a leverage to start a whole lot of kids on statin medications when there's not much evidence that in childhood that's going to make a difference for their health. But if it's used to call attention to this is something new in our history that kids have high cholesterol, we really do need to get active. We use it as a motivation to start adopting the practices you kind of wanted to adopt anyway in your life. And I think that could be a really valuable use of the technology.